time will launch in either late July or early August. And we're gonna hear a lot of rumors leading up to the announcement. And today, ICDverse revealed six key features of the Note 9. By the way, this source has a tremendous track record when it comes to Samsung devices, so these claims do have some base to them. Here are the six core features that are rumored to come with the Galaxy Note 9. So Ice Universe claimed that Samsung is developing a new S Pen for the Note 9. He didn't mention how the S Pen is going to be improved, but there is a crazy rumor that the S Pen will incorporate a microphone this year, allowing it to be used for phone calls. I don't know if putting a microphone on the S Pen would be useful, but I'm all about features. The more the merrier, so bring it on. Ice Universe says the Note 9 will feature a brand new interface dubbed Crown UX. Samsung is also set to make user interface tweaks which might make the Samsung experience skin on the Note 9 lighter and less resource intensive. This should make the device feel snappier overall. He also claims that the Note 9 will have an in-display fingerprint scanner and this is the one feature that has been rumored to come on Samsung's flagship for years now and technical difficulties won't make it happen. But this time around, there's a strong talk that the Note 9 will finally get it and if it does, it will undoubtedly be the headline feature of the Note 9. He also says the Note 9 will get 3850 mAh battery with 18 watt fast charge. This will be the largest battery the company has ever fitted into a Galaxy Note model and this is necessary since the Note lineup is Samsung's most powerful phones and it's logical to have the biggest juice pack reserved for this lineup. Samsung CEO already confirmed that the Note 9 will come with Bixby 2.0. It will enable users to experience a wider scope of voice assistance features and that it will focus on expanding its own ecosystem in the industry. And yes, the Note 9 will surely have a dedicated button for that. Last but certainly not the least, Samsung may also offer a new color option with the Note 9 and it might be a subtle shade of brown. So with that being said, it's difficult to say right now how much of this is actually going to be true, but these are not far-fetched and actually pretty believable. Anyways, we're gonna hear a lot about the Note 9 in the coming days, so make sure to subscribe to keep up with all of the updates. And as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out. Okay.